Bart. Say goodbye to the wife and teeter tots. Look, I'm Picasso. Yeah, I don't get it. You uncultured swine. What are you looking at, you hockey puck? Hey everyone, welcome to my channel, Convert Souls of Brooklyn. And I thought for Christmas 2023, I would do a cool video on Mr. Potato Head, who was actually born in Brooklyn by a man named George Lerner. So we all recognize the Potato Head commercials and the uh, Potato Head toy, but did you know that when it first started out, it didn't come as a whole potato in one plastic piece? It came as all individual pieces? Stay tuned for more interesting facts on Mr. Potato Head, the most popular toy in, of 1952 that was invented in Brooklyn by George Lerner, Brooklynite George Lerner. Hope you enjoy it. So how are you doing everybody? So when we think about Brooklyn, my hometown, we often think of things that are created and invented in Brooklyn. And we think of things like the subway, we think of things like Nathan's, we think of things like um, maybe cheesecake. But most people would never think of Mr. Potato Head. And it's true. Mr. Potato Head was actually designed in Brooklyn, brought up in Brooklyn by a man named George Lerner. Right here, I'll show you George Lerner's picture. And there was, you know, when I think about the Brooklyn backyard, uh, so many things, you know, people make fun of the Brooklyn backyards. They were always like really small, kind of like the size of some living rooms. You know, I had one growing up. We had a pool there and stuff. But George Lerner, when he was a little kid, he actually put these pieces onto vegetables. And later on, he realized that it was really a good idea. And in 1952, these pieces were put out in cereal boxes and then all of a sudden on a commercial and Mr. Potato Head became the most popular toy of 1952. Now, of course, we all know him from Toy Story. There's been so many incarnations of Mr. Potato Head, you know, from Star Wars to Marvel to DC, that it's just hard to imagine. Um, but this was actually the first commercial as well that ever appeared on TV. TV was in its infancy back then. So next time you pick up a Mr. Potato Head, Know that Mr. Potato Head was invented right here in good old Brooklyn. As Jackie Gleason said, the garden spot of the world, which is appropriate because potatoes come from a garden. Now you might wonder why the pieces went from individual pieces into like a plastic potato and they, they don't use the whole piece thing anymore. It was because they discovered that those pieces were too small, kind of a choking hazard for kids. Not that anyone passed, thankfully, but what they did find too was that a lot of the kids were using up their parents' vegetables and putting the pieces on. And after they played with them, they were thrown behind a, a couch or a chair and the potatoes would rot back there and not smell so good. So Hasbro, which uh, ended up buying the whole idea, decided that a plastic potato would be in order. So hence the modern Mr. Potato Head was born and then, of course, came later on Mrs. Potato Head. And the rest was history. And to this day, the original set that's, that went for 98 cents is still on the market and still quite a popular toy. And if you go to Disney even, you could put the potatoes together with the pieces. It just lives on and on and on. And of course, you're looking at Brooklyn right here. Uh, this actually sheeps at bay. So big thanks to George Lerner for inventing that in Brooklyn and for giving us another great toy that we enjoyed at the holidays and thereafter. So I'm going to leave you with some more Mr. Potato Head, who was actually voiced by Don Rickles, a great comedian who's left us, who was known for many great things like, for instance, the TV show CB CPO Sharky and so many funny things. I remember him in Kelly's Heroes. He played the uh, guy called Crap Game who was like a clerk, but always looking to make a profit. So I want to wish everybody happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate at the holidays. And of course, next time you're uh, in the toy store, think about Mr. Potato Head. So for now, this is Al signing off from Kindred Souls of Brooklyn. Have a great day and happy holidays.